Hi guys, God bless you. It's me, Lana. And I wanted to share a really short message and a short word from the book of John, chapter 11, verse 35. It's the shortest sentence in the Bible. Jesus wept. Jesus wept. So I was reading it and I was like really um, trying to get deep into this message about Lazarus when he died and Lazarus was a friend of Jesus he died and he was buried he was buried in a tomb for four days and when he came to the town uh, Lazarus sisters I think Martha and Mary were there uh, ready to meet Jesus and they were very sad and upset that Lazarus had died and that Jesus went away and you know they were like you know if you didn't leave uh, you know Lazarus wouldn't have died and you know, even the Pharisees were there and they said, um, well, you know, this is the man, Jesus, that, you know, can uh, open the blind eyes, you know, but but he let his friend Lazarus die. You know, you know how people can be. They talk about you and stuff like that. But, you know, Jesus, who is the resurrection, he is the resurrection and the life. He came and even though Lazarus was dead and buried for four days and Martha and Mary said that like he stunk like don't even go near the tomb it's a stench Jesus went over to the tomb and he in a loud voice called out Lazarus come forth and guess what a miracle happened <laughs> yeah Lazarus rose from the dead after being dead for four days. You know what kind of a miracle that is? That God had to put back all the, his brain, his organs that weren't functioning. I mean, his heart, the blood pumping. I mean, that's a miracle. Only God can do stuff like this. God is a miracle working God. Jesus Christ is the resurrection and the life. That's what the Bible says. So I was reading it and it said, uh, verse 35, it says, Jesus wept. And I always thought like Jesus wept because he was actually so sad that his friend Lazarus died. But as I'm reading this, I realized by the power of the Holy Spirit that Jesus wept because he knew that he had to call his friend who was dead for four days, living in heaven in eternity with Father God. He had to call him back to earth. Bummer. Bummer. He was like, wow, this is my friend and he's already in heaven and now I got to call him back to earth. He's going to be kind of like, why would you call me back? I like it in heaven. Heaven is amazing. Heaven is marvelous. So he wept because he had to call Lazarus back here to earth. People, heaven is real and it's an amazing place. It's where you will spend eternity with Jesus Christ, Father God, and all the people that we have lost in the past. If they made it there, if they received Jesus, if they believed on Jesus, if they didn't reject him, despise him, then they were saved and they made it to heaven. So you'll be reunited with uh, family and loved ones. But let me just say that that sentence, Jesus wept, hit me. And I don't know who this message is for, but I hope I can encourage someone today. Just encourage you to let you know that Jesus is alive. He's a living God. He is the resurrection and the life. And nobody goes to the Father except through him. And that he is a good God. Yes, he is. He's a good God. He's the giver of life. He doesn't steal or take life. He's the giver of life. He knows all things and he knows everything that's going on. And even, you know, People get so angry at God and they're like, you know, even Martha and Mary, they were so upset because they were like, you know, Jesus, you left and Lazarus died and because you weren't here, you know, and they right away blamed God. They blamed Jesus. Okay. But let me just encourage someone today. 
you know, if you had a loved one, a, someone close to you that died before their time, before their rightful age, let, let me just, let me just give you a little inkling of information that God is a giver of life, but the enemy, Satan, he comes to steal, kill, and destroy. Get mad at the devil. You know, I get really tired of people always getting mad at God. Get mad at the devil. Start warring and fighting against that devil because he's the one who steals life. He's the one who kills and steals and destroys things. Not God. God came to give us life and life more abundantly. He loves us with an everlasting love. He is a loving God. He's a forgiving God. He is a good, good God. God is good all the time. And all the time, God is good. So I just hope I can encourage someone today and let you know that God loves you. Jesus Christ loves you. He's the resurrection. He can resurrect any dead thing in your life. If there's something dead in your life, call on Jesus. He can resurrect it. Yes, he can. Yes, he can. He is the most incredible, incredible example we had through the Bible when we read it to know that he was our teacher to teach us how to heal, how to deliver, how to resurrect, how to pray. He taught us everything. He came to show us, to teach us so that we can do greater things than he did. That's what he says in his Bible. So I just want to encourage someone today. Be blessed. Be blessed. I'm praying for you, um, people of God. Be blessed. I pray that the Lord Jesus Christ just continue to bless you and prosper you in all things. I pray for your marriages to be going great and loving. And I pray for the children that have gone back to school, that the Lord protect them and keep them safe under the shadow of his wings and just be blessed. God bless you. I got to go for now, but I love you and be blessed. Be encouraged today. I got to go. Bye.